Hey, Buxy here. Do you find yourself admiring other people's pets, wishing that you could one day be rich enough to own your very own dream pet? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you my top 10 ways to help you on your way. But first, if you want the chance to get a ride potion, just follow these three easy steps. Subscribe to the channel, press that like button, and comment your Roblox username down below. Winners of all my giveaways are announced to my YouTube community tab and Roblox group. Welcome back to another how-to video. We're taking a look at 10 different ways to get rich. I'm going to be completely upfront with you. If you're just starting out in Adopt Me, it's not going to be easy reaching that dream pet if it's something like a shadow dragon or giraffe. But it's not impossible and these 10 tips will help you reach that dream pet. Now there are three main currencies in Adopt Me that can measure your wealth. There are books earned in game, there is Robux that costs real life money, and there are the items in your inventory. All three currencies can be used to help you get rich. You're fresh to the game, perhaps you're looking for your first legendary, or want to just add to your pet collection. Grinding tasks is the way to go. I still do this, and although I'm not exactly poor, I still like to add to my pet collection. Get yourself a grinding house or set up a room that allows you to grind tasks quickly. This is mine here. It has everything I need to complete the majority of the tasks without having to leave the house. I'll then just grind tasks whilst watching Netflix or YouTube. You don't need donuts and pianos if you're happy to steal apples from the school and travel to the park to collect the boredom task. There are two ways to grind tasks, by yourself or with a friend. If you're by yourself, make sure you're a baby and then get your pet out. You'll then have tasks to complete as a baby and for your pet. Each task you complete will earn you bucks. If you're with a friend or happen to have an alt account, have them switch to a baby whilst you're an adult and then you both get your pets out. You all need to be in the same family. This then allows you to look after them and their pet along with your own pet. You're basically earning extra bucks for looking after them and they earn bucks too. They can even leave their account logged in and go and do something else if they wanted to, providing they move their character every so often before they get auto logged out. Now that you have some bucks, you may be tempted to go buy eggs, but the smart option is to save up 1450 bucks to get a money tree. If you're planning on playing Adopt Me for a while, the money tree can pay for itself within 15 days, and it's then a nice source of daily income. The money tree costs 1450 bucks, and you can collect 100 bucks from it every real life day. It doesn't give you the full 100 bucks in one go, it's on a refresh, giving you up to 8 bucks each time. Just click on it every 10 minutes and you'll soon be up to the daily limit. 15 days of doing this and you'd have earned 1500 bucks. You're now 50 bucks in profit. Congratulations! Keep doing that and you'll soon be rolling in money. A few things to note about money trees, having more than one tree does not increase the daily limit. You're capped at 100 bucks. All it means is that you can reach that 100 quicker by having more trees. I have one tree. I don't collect 100 bucks a day, but because I've been playing Adopt Me for over a year, this tree has easily earned me over 20,000 bucks since I've had it. Nice! Even if you're not planning on playing Adopt Me that day, it's worth spending the short amount of time it takes to log in and collect your daily reward. Do this for 10 days and you would have collected 750 bucks, enough to buy an egg out of the gumball machine. Not only is it a nice source of income, but you're also going to get gifts, cracked eggs, and then items, vehicles, and even pets from the star rewards. We're now moving on to the intermediate tips. You can purchase cauldrons for your house that give you free potions. The one we're interested in is the speed cauldron that gives you the hyperspeed potions. If you don't know how to get free cauldrons, check out my previous video showing you how to get free potions. I'll put a link within the description down below. Not only are hyperspeed potions a useful way to quickly complete tasks by allowing you to run around the map quicker, but people will sometimes trade their unwanted pets and items for them. And it's costing you nothing, just a little bit of time to make the potions. If you do have some Robux or are able to trade for a lemonade stand, then try to get one. 
I've seen lemonade stands trade for things like ocean eggs and lunar boxes previously, so don't overpay for one. And because we're now rolling in bucks from completing the previous tips, getting eggs should be in our reach. We get the lemonade stand instead of things like the hot dog stand or the ice cream truck because lemonade completes the thirsty task. When players are a baby, you even need to purchase something for your house, like the water cooler, or travel to the farm shop to get water for one buck. Now set your lemonade stand up outside the nursery or keep setting it up where the orange tasks are. Don't be greedy here, set the price as one buck. Set it any higher and people would just go to the farm shop or use someone else's lemonade stand. This isn't going to create a load of money for you, but if you get in the habit of setting it up when you first log in, money will slowly trickle in without you having to do anything. A lot of YouTubers have giveaways on their videos. I pretty much have a giveaway every video for pets, robux, items, eggs, etc. We even had a Mega Neon Turtle giveaway recently. Join as many giveaways as you can. Now the odds of winning are slim, but the more you join, the higher your odds of getting something. Plus it's a great way to discover amazing Adopt Me content and to support YouTube channels that spend a lot of their time creating content day after day. If you do have Robux, trading Ride and Fly potions is the most effective way to go. Ride and Fly potions are always going to be in demand and this is a great trading opportunity for us. A Ride potion will trade for a legendary pet. Don't expect to get a giraffe for one, but you can expect a unicorn, dragon, current gumball machine legendary pets and even the previous ones. You can also get Robux pets, like the peacock that costs 550 Robux for a single ride potion. If you're patient, you can even trade it for a rideable legendary pet. If you don't have Robux to purchase potions, you can now use all those books you've collected from the previous tips to your advantage. When you come across someone looking to trade their ride or fly potion, see if they will accept ocean eggs for it. Never trade more than 9 eggs, but if you can get a ride potion for 9 or less ocean eggs, you can then trade that ride potion for a guaranteed legendary pet. You have a 5% chance of hatching a legendary pet from an ocean egg. That means on average you should get 1 legendary pet for every 20 eggs hatched. If we can trade 9 eggs for a ride potion that we can then trade for a legendary pet, then this is the way to go. You obviously miss out on the fun of hatching eggs, but if you want to increase your legendary pet collection, this is the sensible choice. You now have a collection of legendary pets and other valuable things. It's time to get trading. This is the single most profitable way to become rich in Adopt Me. If you're good at trading and patient, then this is how you can get mega rich. But be careful, do not fall for scams. Unfortunately, there are many scams out there with people trying to get your pets for nothing. Do not fall for them, don't do trust trades. If they're not giving you the pet in the same trade as your pet, then don't do it. Now for the tip, this isn't going to come overnight, but start to understand the value of things you're trading. Generally, the older the pet, the more value it has. For example, a shark or octopus is worth less than the dodo and T-Rex from the fossil egg. Pets that are aged to adult will also be worth more than newborn pets. If you're not sure of the value of your pet, watch a recent YouTube video of someone trying to trade it, or spend some time taking offers but not accepting. You'll then have a good idea of what it's worth. Be patient and you'll find that golden trade that puts you in a profit. Now I can't cover everything there is to know about trading in one video. All I can say is don't rush into things. Understand what your pet is worth and if you're in doubt about a trade, then don't do it. The value of pets doesn't change that much, so spend a bit of time researching before you click accept. A handful of times a year, Adopt Me will have a sale. This is where items available for Robux will be discounted. Remember that previous tip about trading ride potions? During a sale is the time to buy ride and fly potions. You can buy them for cheaper than usual during this time and then trade them away for those legendary pets later on. Sales have taken place during spring, summer, November and over Christmas previously. Plan ahead for these and then reap the rewards. For most of the year, the value of pets and eggs are pretty consistent. 
However, there are two points in time when their value will spike. When a new pet or egg first becomes available, and once it's no longer available. On the day the ocean egg was released, I was seeing people trading a dodo or a T-Rex for one or two ocean eggs. Now you'd struggle to get one of those pets for nine ocean eggs. Another example is the lamb pet that was available during the Easter update. This is a limited pet, meaning it's only available during the event. Once the event is over, your only way of getting it is through trading. The value of the lamb pet was at its peak on the first day it was available. It then decreased in value as more of them entered the game. And now that the event's over, the value of the lamb will slowly increase over time. It's the same with eggs from the gumball machine. Basically, trade away these items when they first enter the game, get them back for cheaper as time goes on, and then trade them away again once they're replaced by a new egg. Hopefully these 10 tips will help you reach that dream pet. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like another video with more tips. This is The Box, and as always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you next time. Boxy out.